This session is for OCRFP2. The topic is integration, in particular the reduction formula, and we're doing January 2011, question 8. So just reading through what the question says. First part, without using a calculator, show that shine of inverse cosh of 2 is equal to root 3. In part 2, we're given that for non-negative integers, i of n is equal to the integral from naught to beta of cosh to the power of n of x, where beta is equal to the inverse cosh of 2, and we've got to show this recurrence relation. And then in part 3, we've got to evaluate i5, in other words, the integral of cosh to the power of 5, and we're giving our answer in the form k root 3. So let's first of all look at this part 1. And in part 1, we've got to find the kosha, ko, sorry, the shine of the inverse cosh of 2. But really it would be easier if we just let a equal the inverse cosh of 2. Then that means that when we take the cosh of a, then we're just taking the cosh of the inverse cosh, which of course is just equal to 2. And we're going to be using that result now because that means we are now looking at shine of A, but of course we have this relationship about cosh, so we're going to use the fact that shine A is cosh squared A minus 1. And now we have cosh a is equal to 2, so that's root 2 squared minus 1, which is root 3. So just two marks for that, and there was really a method mark here for seeing that you needed to use this relationship, and then there was an accuracy mark for substituting in uh, cosh to the minus 1 of 2 and so on. So that's part one, and we will be using that result now when we come to part two. Because it is said here that we have i of n is equal to the integral from naught to beta of cosh to the power of n of x. So that's what we've got to try and integrate. So the important thing about integrating cosh to the power of n of x is that we need, the trick to this is to write it as cosh to the n minus 1x times cosh x and integrate then by parts. Both of these, of course, are going from naught to beta. Put those in. So we're now going to use integration by parts. So u equals cosh to the n minus 1 of x and we need du by dx. So that means we'll have n minus 1 cosh to the n minus 2 of x times the derivative of cos, which is shine. Just squeeze that in. And then dv by dx will be equal to cosh x. And so v equals shine x. So that's our sort of what we need for integration by parts. So if we substitute that in now, so that means i of n will be equal to, so uv, so that's going to be shine x cosh to the n minus 1 of x, and that we're evaluating from naught to beta. And then from that, we're going to subtract v du by dx. So that's going to be the integral of, so we'll have a shine x, and then we'll have uh, all of this. So that's going to give us another shine, so that's shine squared x. And then we'll have n minus 1 cosh to the n minus 2 x. Again, we're integrating from 0 to beta, putting in my limits. So if we evaluate this, when the value when x is 0 is going to be nothing, and the value when 
uh, X is beta, so that's going to be shine beta cosh to the n minus 1 beta. And remember, we know what beta is up here. So we should be able to sort that out. And then from here, we're now, if I take the n minus 1 outside the integral sign, I then have shine squared x cosh to the n minus 2x dx. And the trick now again is because everything's in terms of cosh, the information we have, we're going to need to replace that shine squared by cosh squared minus 1. So I'll just continue with that. So instead of having shine, I'm going to have cosh squared x minus 1. And if you have a look at that now, the what's going to happen, of course, is you're going to get a cosh squared times a cosh to the n minus 2, which is cosh to the n, so that's i n, and a minus cosh to the n minus 2, which is going to be i n minus 2. So we're, we're just about there, really. What we now need to know is shine of beta. Now, if you remember, shine of beta from part 1, we worked out to be root 3. And cosh to the n minus 1, the little n seems to have sort of disappeared a bit there, but it should be there. Cosh to the n minus 1 of beta, well, we know that beta is cosh to the minus 1 of 2, inverse cosh of 2. So that's going to be 2 to the power of n minus 1. And then what we've got is now we've got our i n, because the integral of cosh to the power of n, minus i n minus 2. And remember that over here we've got an i n, because that's what we started with. So we also have, um, if you're looking at the signs, we have a, an i n on the right and on the left, so that it cancels out. And we have a minus n i n on the left, so that's n i n on the right. So we have root 3 times 2 to the power of n minus 1. And then that leaves us with a minus and a minus, so that's a plus n minus 1. Lots of the integral i n minus 2. So that is more or less in the form. The only thing I have done is I haven't put those two, so that's, but that's all right. So just looking at the marks, there were actually six marks for that question. So there was a method mark for seeing the sort of trick about how to integrate cosh to the power of n, x, uh, there was an accuracy mark for using your integration by parts. There was another method mark for seeing that you had to replace shine squared by cosh squared minus 1. There was a, a mark here for seeing that you were substituting in correctly here for cosh to the n minus 1 beta. An accuracy mark for getting your this bit here sorted and then uh, an accuracy mark for the final part. And of course, as I say, I think we, we could obviously write those two the other way around. So that is part two. So if we have a look now at what we've got to do in part three. So in part three, we're asked to evaluate I5, so the integral of cosh to the power of 5x. So we're going to use this recurrent relation. So that's the one we've just established. So that's what we're going to use. So the first thing that we will need to do is we will need to find i of 1. So i of 1, first of all. So i of 1 is just going to be the integral of cosh x between naught and beta. And that is just going to be shine beta. Sorry, it's going to be shine x. So 
just take that. So that's going to be shine. Oh, shine beta was right, wasn't it? What am I doing? So we'll just say that's shine beta. And of course that's beta is equal to cosh to the minus one. That's what it is. And that's cosh to the minus one of two, which of course we find in part one to be three. Sorry about that. Uh, we then find I of three. So I of three, using this relationship now, I of three, well, we're going to need to divide by three, so it's going to be a third of two squared times root three plus two I one. And if we work that out, so that's going to be a third of four root three plus 2i1, so that's 2 root 3. So that is a third of 6 root 3, which is 2 root 3. And then i5 is going to be 1 fifth of 2 to the power of 4 root 3 plus 4i3 we know what I3 is, so if we substitute that in, we get one fifth of 16 root 3 plus 8 root 3, which is 24 over 5 root 3. So we have now found I of 5. And again, four marks for that question. So if we have a quick look at how those are given to you. So the first mark was a statement mark for writing down uh, the value of I1. You then had a method mark and an accuracy mark for using our recurrence relation to find I3. And then you were obviously doing a similar thing again. So it was just an accuracy mark for finding I5. So, sort of four marks for that question. There were six marks for that and two marks. So 12 marks in total for the question. So quite a lot to do. However, remember that if you want to watch further revision videos, then you can do so by going to the Further Math Support Programme and following the link.